Hello guys, what is going on? It is Nintendo BP with more of the Elder Kings mod for Crusader Kings 2. Um, there is a there is a small gap between this video and the last one. Um, it was like a five minute you know gap where my recording software um, refused to record, and I wasn't aware of that. So basically, all we did was um, get remarried. Basically, if my memory serves me correctly. Anyways, um, we are Count Levio, the cheat of Redman, and we're gonna be, you know, trying to expand. We are still content. I do not believe we can go on a hunt to get rid of that trait, but it would be nice if we could. Uh, the Dragonborn, and we're just gonna let some time, you know, go by here. Hopefully we can find some reasons to attack people, if I remember correctly. To do an Inquisition we need 500 favor. So considering the fact we have a pretty large sum of money, we could make an offering. Yes, our heir can become just. I think that is a fabulous idea and now we're just waiting for next year to come by so we can make another offering get our favor up right now we're going increasing our favor by one per month so it'll take quite a few years before we can um, accumulate enough favor that way our marshal is causing some problems We'll just bestow honors upon them, and hopefully they'll just um, go away and not be a problem. We are still unable to make an offering. And someone has murdered us. So, um, this is both good and bad. Our character is absolutely fabulous he's 15 so one more year until we become of age he is not content so we can take the warlord ambition so we can conquer land so I feel like in the near future we are going to expand quite rapidly our character has fabulous stats he's deceitful just strong a genius we don't have an heir actually we have an heir but we don't have any children we're not married our spy master who loves us is our regent pretty nice and I guess we will oh there is a dangerous faction we will try to um, fix these issues we're having by giving out you know honors and titles and whatnot maybe send a few gifts make decision honors Hi, Almoner. You should leave the faction, right? Uh, send gift. Make decision. Alright. Uh, we have a lot of open council positions. Our marshal can be our sister. Uh huh. And our spy master, she likes us, so we'll keep her. We will heal in the capital collect taxes in um, Black Marsh because it has the highest tax and we will train troops in the capital and we're fabricating claims I guess we can improve relations instead because I really don't want any factions trying to you know tear apart our realm and now we just wait until um, uh, three more months. I think that's when our birthday is. Yeah. And once that happens, we will get married. We will um, expand, basically. Our levy is looking fairly decent compared to the rest of us. And we have become of age. We are an expert trader. We will take the follower of Akatosh. And now we can... Take on some ambitions. I want to become. First off, let's get married because that's a fairly simple one to get. 
nothing really too complicated about finding a wife. We want one, we want one with high stewardship, one that is not married, and that is our religion, and is not a ruler. And it's throw in genius for just for kicks. Genius, genius, gene, I U O S, right? Yeah. Okay, not any. There aren't any very good characters. I'll search all. Genius. I promise I can spell. Uh, gene. I U S U S. Okay. Um. High stewardship. We want a relatively young person to marry. Mm hmm This 20-year-old looks fairly decent. We will take her. She will accept. Okay, let's get out of the character search menu. We have fulfilled our ambition. We will take the prestige. And our wife is fairly good at all her skills. Uh, Intrigue could use some work, but she's a really good marshal. We will probably use her for um, fighting and whatnot. No reason not to. And uh, what else can we do? Reign for 10 years. Um, let's have a son. We are both geniuses. We can press the ducal, what's that called? De jure ducal claims. Don't really feel like doing that. Inquisition, we can't do that because we do not have enough favor. Our sister needs an educator. Uh, might as well educate her ourself. And our other sister, she needs an educator and we will educate her ourself we just bought our wife a warhorse which will give her plus two marshal and we cannot get the warlord ambition which is very very unfortunate Cynical, that is, uh, I don't want her to become cynical, so, no, don't be normal, don't be crazy. Um, kind trait, that's a fairly decent trait. We can create another duchy right now. I think we have two duchies already, right? Azure duchies. Yeah, we do, so I don't really see any point in doing that unless that one we can take that province from that guy or yeah, I can I can see why we would want to create this one. Or absurp it. Um. Hmm. Might as well. Did we create it? I don't think we did. Create. Okay. Oh, so we have three duchies now. Um. They, we can have three. They don't seem to. Our vassals don't seem to be too mad about that. Um, you have how many troops? One thousand. Yeah, we're going to declare war over that province. Not that. Yeah, that province. And yeah, hire some holy orders and our mercenary company. Raise our levy, and we will go and fight this guy.
and our wife is pregnant. Our 22-year-old wife. Spouse opinion plus 25. Alright, so once this army gets there, we will go and attack this guy's army. We have really, really awesome commanders right now. And we are no longer ill, so there is very little chance of us dying. And his army is crushed. Let's go sit on the war goal. And we had a daughter who is strong. Okay. We're suffering how much attrition? 2%? That's not, that's not too much. We'll just stand here and take it. Take it on the chin. And we still haven't fulfilled our ambition to have a son. Which sucks. But this war will be over fairly quickly. He's already willing to surrender. We'll take that. Um, we will give this away to any man who is not in prison, who is not a ruler, who is any marriage. Yes, yes, any. Yes and no. So the higher stewardship person in our realm is this guy. And I guess we'll grant him that title, which which was what? It was uh, Hellstorm. Hellstrom? Hellstrom. And we'll grant all the titles. And yeah, we are at our domain limit. Um, can we create any kingdoms? Your kingdom. Now we need one more title in this area. Um, Stormhold, yeah. So this looks like our best bet in terms of forming a kingdom down here. Um, yeah, we'll need a lot more if we want to form this one. So this up here looks like our best bet in our army was already there to stamp out those re rebels yeah rebels uh, how high is this revolt risk if I go over here not very high zero four this uh, we should proselytize here why can't we do that can we heal here Maybe that'll do something. Who knows? Better yet, we'll try to change the culture. Okay, we can fight the King of Nibine with his 4,000 men. That seems like a foolish endeavor. Our steward has died. Our wife, um, I don't want her to be steward. Because if she's steward, then we lose the bonus that we have from just having her as a wife. But, you know, she still likes us. Uh, she's not pregnant, so the likelihood of us getting a son is basically zero, as one would expect. Uh, our sister has gained the gregarious trait. Okay. We don't want her to become craven, so hopefully she'll become brave, which she did not. Um, do we want her to be deceitful? Yeah, why not? And our wife is pregnant. She is preggers, and we are ill. Seems that every time we get our wife pregnant, we get ill. Oh, she is ill too, so she might die. Hmm. We can create another title if we get enough money. Our heir is now of legal age. 
go marry her off to somebody. Uh, the Prince of White Run, or a Prince of White Run. But I'll marry her off to this. Um, actually, are there any other people with that companion bloodline trait? Let's sort them by age and start with like 16. And just head up. I'm looking for congenial traits, ones that can be um, uh, transferred through genetics and stuff. Because those are really nice to get in the bloodline, so you can have a really, really good character. Um, anyone? Anyone? No, no. Nothing, so... Looks like we're going to have to go with one of these younger characters. Okay, I guess this nine-year-old will do. Alright, um, we have no one in prison. People, there's some people who are plotting we can imprison. There's one person. And we can't really imprison them. So what can we do to this guy who was in prison? You have how much money? 10 gold. I think I would rather just... Oh, we can't castrate you. Or blind you, so we'll just ransom you off to your liege. How dare they? Who cares? Alright. Our wife is still pregnant. And we had a son, Levio. Fulfilled our ambition. And I guess we'll undertake a pilgrimage. And we'll start the pilgrimage. Okay. Um. And our wife died. Oh, time to look for another wife. Look for women, not in prison, not married, not married, not a ruler, any great house, culture, yes, yes, yes. Actually, they can be both. And we want someone with a really high stewardship who is preferably very young. And hopefully has some type of um, congenial trait. Maybe if we sort by age, we'll get a better... No, 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 we'll just do this. Stewardship. a chip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Breton. Vigorous. 64 year old. 22 year old with a 17. 27 year old who's strong. 23 year old. 24 year old. 22 year old Breton. Uh, I guess we'll take this 22 year old as our wife. She's too distant to interact with. So I guess we'll take uh, this 16 year old. Arrange a marriage and we'll marry her. I will destroy you and we killed them. Again we will gain the prestige. That will improve our opinion with our vassals. Uh, we did not gain the brave trait. We gained the honorable trait. That is very nice. And kind. We didn't gain that one. She can be honest. Who cares? Uh, our courtier, who is... Yeah, she has Vigorous, so we'll make a move. Hopefully we can create a very nice baby. Our sister has become diligent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we will offer and gain some more favor. Hopefully by the end of this pilgrimage we'll have enough to go on a war. And did we gain the gregarious trait? No. 
Patient. Nope. We did not gain the content trait, thank goodness. And we have gained the pilgrimage pilgrim trait, I believe. Yes. And we've you know succeeded in our ambition, so we can pick a new one. I guess we can show bravery in battle. Oh, and now that we have enough favor, we might as well go and attack somebody before we wrap this episode up. So with this Casa Spell we can take three provinces. Actually I want to attack this guy. Because he has stuff we can use to make a kingdom. So if we declare war on you, we are oh we have a truce with you. That's unfortunate, so I guess we'll attack one of these guys. The Petru. We declare war on you. We can take one province, or we can take one, two, three, four. You are allied to nobody. So we will. Oh, we need more prestige. Okay, um, that sucks. Oh. Um. Check our laws. Laws are looking nice. Intrigue. Dragonborn is still this guy. Actually, I want to try something. Dragon. We just go both. Dragon born. So this guy is the Dragonborn. Mm -hmm. Successor. Religion. This guy, um, he kind of likes us. It right, doesn't really matter though. Um, Council's doing work. Okay, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode. See ya.